Chapter 8, Showing Shipment Status, Step-by-Step -step Movie, 8.1. So now we're ready to create the shipment status scene. To do that, I'll free up a little space. I'll double-click to zoom out. And to get rid of this filter, I can click the X over here. Now it's showing me all the things I need to see. And this time again, we need a table view controller. I'm going to click here and drag. I'm going to put it under the location scene. And the reason I do that is these two scenes are really peers. Uh, they're both launched off the shipment scene. So this provides a visual indication to me that these scenes both come from the shipment scene. So now we need to create a segue. So I'll double click here. I'll select this cell. I hold the control key down. I click. I drag down here. And again, I select a push. And as expected, I have my navigation bar up here, and I have a segue connecting the two. In fact, if I click on the segue, again, you can see delivery status is highlighted. I'm going to scroll up here so I can see my whole scene. So I'll double click here, and I'll set the title to delivery status and press enter. Now I can show the document outline again and here's my new scene. I can select table view which selects the table view in the design surface. And I'm going to set the content to static cells and the style to grouped. We have a consistent look for all of our table views. So all of the cells in this table view need to be the same style. So the easiest thing to do is to delete the last two cells I can do that by clicking here. I hold shift key down. I click the third cell, then I press delete. That leaves my one cell here. So with this one cell selected, I set the style to basic. And now I'm going to set the text on the cell. So I can select here. I click twice. I change the title to on vehicle for delivery. And I'll change the alignment to centered. And if I click off, we can see it's been changed. So let's make two copies of this cell. To do that, I click on the cell to select it, and I type Command D twice. So now we have three cells of the same style. So let's add the finishing touches to these cells. First of all, the first cell, we're going to add a check mark. So I select the cell. And under accessory, I say check mark. Now I just need to change the text of the other cells. I'm going to change this one to attempted delivery. And the last one we'll say to delivered. So this shows us all three statuses. It's either on the vehicle, we've attempted it and uh, didn't succeed, or the package has been delivered. So let's go ahead and test this. See my simulator is still running, so I'll click stop. I press the run button. My delivery scene appears. I click delivery. I see details of the shipment. I select delivery status. We see our delivery status scene. I can click back to shipment. We see our shipment scene again. I go back to Xcode and I press stop. 